lot of money for this novel. I was very proud of the novel. It was nominated for World Fantasy Award. It got great reviews. No one bought it. <laughs> no one bought it, and it was like a year and a half after that novel came out, my career was over. I was taking courses in how to sell real estate because I think <laughs> I thought I was going to have to be a realtor here because, uh, you know, my agents were saying, George, well, you're the sales figures. No one wants to see anything more from you. I get in arguments with other fantasy writers these ways, saying, George, you know, dragons don't exist. I can give them as many legs as I want. And, uh, you know, flying things that, uh, that breathe fire, how can you talk about realism? And, yeah, maybe they're right, but for me it just feels real. My dragons feel real. Some of these other dragons don't feel real. A book or saga would you have liked to write? Well, I'm pretty happy with the one I did write. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I love fantasy. I love fantasy and there are many, many great, great fantasies out there. Of course, I was enormously influenced by J.R. Tolkien and Lord of the Rings. Today, who are you writing for? I'm writing for me. The, the fact that you guys like the story mm -hmm. is, is great and I'm, I'm very, very pleased by that. But. I think ultimately you have to write for yourself. You, you can't try to please other people. You write the truth as, as you do it. You write the kind of stories that you want to read. The best books, to my mind, the very best books, are the ones that you can reread over and over again, and every time you return to them, you find new things in them, and you enjoy them just as much. And that's, not, that's only true for a small number of books. And here I am still writing it. I had no idea how big it was going to be, or how long it was going to take, but uh, you have to follow the story wherever it leads. And it's led to some pretty interesting places, including Guadalajara. <laughs>